Hi class, uh, what I want to do in this video is walk you through uh, some of the problems, not all of them, for challenge exercise 7.2.1. So this is about uh, confidence intervals for population proportions. So to do this, you're going to need um, this critical values for quick reference during this activity, and you can see that it's right here. All right, so the first problem says, in a poll of 1,000 randomly selected voters in a local election, 488 voters were against fire department bond measures. Okay, so what is the sample proportion here? Well, I'm gonna use Excel for this just because we've been using it. So X and N. So if you look here, 488 were against it. And there were a thousand N here. So my P hat is just the 488 divided by a thousand and you get 0.488. Okay, so the next thing it says is what is the margin of error for a 99% confidence interval? And what you can do is you can scroll up and you can find this formula for the margin of error. So it says the margin of error M here is your Z critical value times the square root of P hat one minus P hat over N. So to do this, it's my critical value. So for 99% confidence value, it's 2.576. times the square root of p hat. So I got to put an equal sign there, sorry about that. And let me just actually zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better. So it's equals, so the critical value, which is 2.576 times the square root of p hat times then in parentheses one minus p hat divided by n, our sample size here. So it looks like here, it's, it's gonna ask us to go to three decimal places here. So it looks like it's 0 0.041 when I round it to three decimal places. And you can see we got it. So now um, I'm not gonna do problem number two for you. So problem number two asks you to then construct a confidence interval. So let me just show you how to do that from here. Okay, so the lower bound for this confidence interval is going to be equal to your p hat minus your margin of error and your upper bound of your confidence interval would be equal to um, your p hat plus your margin of error. So in problem number two, it's gonna ask you to do confidence intervals and this is how you could do it. Once you figure out what that margin of error is, right, just subtract it from p hat to get the lower bound and add it to p hat to get the upper bound. And so you can see where it just asks you to do that here in, in question number two. So I'm not gonna walk you through exactly how to do that, but you're gonna have to do, find p hat, the margin of error, and then add and subtract here to get the lower and upper bounds. All right, I'll follow this up with another question here to show you um, how to tackle parts three and four. 